ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i welcome you again to this channel today is another day i have prepared for you a very very nice video and this video is about learning french and the french is one of powerful languages as you know in fact in this channel expect many good things including french lessons chinese lessons kiswahili uh, kenya rwanda for those who want to go to invest and do business in rwanda and uh, i don't know where you are watching this channel from maybe in america in the us in asia elsewhere in the whole world but for me where i'm watching from here in kenya we are very fine and uh, everything is well we are in peace after elections everybody is in peace and we thank god for that now before that we can continue i would like to invite you to today's lesson it is french that we're going to learn and we are going to use two languages we're going to use english and swahili you know uh, french is one of the powerful languages spoken in the whole world especially now here in east african community uh, in east and uh, central africa we are now using three languages we can use english swahili and french and that's why we are going to learn this lesson using english and swahili so that the three languages can be uh, can be used and you can be um, used to hearing and using them every day in your in your activities Thank you very much. Today's lesson, I call you to pay attention about uh, greetings lesson. Greetings. This is the first lesson that we are going to start with. Leo, nataka tujifunze somo la kifaransa na nataka kujifunza kwanza pamoja na wewe somo lenyewe nikijifunza tukianza na salamu na pia salamu kwa kifaransa ni salutation sa lu ta sion salutation salutation maana yake salamu kwa kifaransa salamu sa lamu swadata now in french languages in french language we have uh, three words that we can use to greet people and uh, those are formal greetings the first word is bonjour 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 i want you to repeat this word bonjour are you there think you are watching me when maybe you are in the office you are seated you are just at home you are doing your personal research and then you uh, you you happen to to see this video on youtube i encourage you please don't uh, don't go without uh, finishing the video finish this video is very important for you because you're going to learn about french and swahili english it is something very important for you now greetings in french you need to say bonjour in the morning you say bonjour neno bonjour ni neno ambalo linatumiwa kwa eh, linatumiwa kama salamu kwa watu ambao mnaishi nao nyumbani wende kawa baba mama ndugu dada mnapoishi na wao nyumbani asubuhi unaweza kuwa, unaweza kuwasalimia ukisema bonjour nataka urudie tena hilo neno bonjour so doctor now when you are you are told bonjour your answer will be oui bonjour so if you are asked you are told bonjour your answer will be oui bonjour bonjour oui bonjour ukiambiwa 
bonjour jibu lako litakuwa oui bonjour nataka urudie neno bonjour ni mimi nakusalimia nikisema bonjour wewe utasema oui bonjour bonjour ni zamu yako oui bonjour bonjour ni wewe utasema sasa oui bonjour so adapt na another word that you can use for formal greeting is bon après-midi bon après midi bon après-midi it is a way of saying good afternoon in english bon après-midi repeat that bon après-midi bon après-midi your answer will be bon après-midi unapoambiwa bon après-midi jibu lako litakuwa bon après-midi so doctor zo hizi sasa bon après-midi nizamu yako sema bon après-midi so doctor bon après-midi maana yake nini bon après-midi maana yake good afternoon kwa kino kwa kimombo good afternoon good afternoon kwa kimombo na sijui kwa Kiswahili tutasemaje ah sijui mwenzangu mtazamaji tutasemaje tutasema so doctor wewe utaniwekea hapa kwenye comment hapo chini unapo watch, unapoangalia hii video kuna mahali kunaandikwa comment wakati unaona mahali kumeandikwa comment wewe utaniwekea jibu kwa waswahili waswahili huwa wanasemaje wakati wa mchana mnawasalimia wenyewe zenu waswahili wenzenu mnawasalimiaje kwa mchana mnasemaje mnasema good afternoon usidhani ni good afternoon mnasemaje mnasema mchana mwema ama mnasema nyuma ya saa sita njema mnasemaje kwa sababu hapa bon maana yake good ama njema chema kwa Kiswahili so good maana yake njema jema chema good so kwa kimombo basi itakuwa good bon kwa english itakuwa good na après midi kwa kimombo itakuwa afternoon afternoon na pia ikiwa unataka kujua vizuri vile mambo haya ama maneno haya yana eh, yanatamkwa unaweza pia kutumia tarakilishi nyumbani kwako unaweza kufanya utafiti na utaweza kujua vizuri namna mambo maneno haya yanaweza kutamkwa na mimi unajua mimi ni mwalimu na mimi ni mwalimu ambaye Eh, naamini ya kwamba mwalimu maalum ama mwalimu ambaye kabisa ame ana shauku ya kufunza watu ni lazima afanye utafiti kila siku anafanya utafiti ndio maana natumia tarakilishi ndio maana natumia hadi vitabu na vijitabu ili nipate maneno sahihi ya kutumia nikikufunza so doctor basi utasema bon après midi na jioni jioni unaweza kusema bonsoir 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 maana yake good evening good evening kwa kimombo ama kwa english bonsoir means good good evening if you are told bonsoir your answer will be oui bonsoir bonsoir Your answer will be uh, your answer will be oui bonsoir bonsoir utasema oui bonsoir lakini unapoambiwa bon après-midi jibu lako litakuwa tu bon après-midi bon après jibu lako litakuwa bon après midi hakuna kitu ambacho kinabadilika hapa lakini hapa chini unapambiwa bonsoir ni lazima kusema oui bonsoir bonsoir oui bonsoir bonjour oui bonjour bon après-midi bon après-midi so doctor 
nataka sasa tufanye uh, zoezi ama exercise kwa Kiswahili kwa Kifaransa tutafanya zoezi maana yake exercise tutafanya zoezi hapa na mazoezi ni ya muhimu sana kwa sababu yanatusaidia kuelewa zaidi na zaidi Bonjour Bon après-midi Bonsoir Mazoezi tunayaita kwa Kifaransa exercice exercice Mazoezi ni exercice exercice ama mazoezi ma zo wezi so that bonjour 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 papa Unaweza kusema hivi Bonjour papa Papa Maana yake baba Kwa kimombo ama English baba maana yake dad Nadhani itakuwa hivyo dad Papa baba Ama pia kuna neno lingine ni père père papa ama père hebu rudia hayo maneno mawili papa père so that so unaweza pia kusema bonjour mama mama ama mère Ukitaka kusema mama hakuna shida. Ukitaka kusema mère pia hakuna shida. Na mère ama eh, mama ama mère maana yake mother ama mama inaanisha mama mzazi mama So unaweza kusema bonjour mama bonjour papa bonjour mon frère hapa tunasema frère ama unaweza sema pia sœur Frère maana yake brother. Na sœur maana yake sister. So that. Unaweza kusema bonjour ma sœur. Bonjour mon frère. Ama bonjour ma sœur. Ma sœur mon frère. Hayo maneno mawili unaweza kuyatumia ndani ya mfano. Bonjour mon frère. Bonjour ma sœur. Bon après-midi papa. Bon après-midi maman. Bon après-midi mon frère. Bon après-midi ma sœur. Soit docteur. Ndani kuna mifano mingine ambayo tunaweza ku kuandika hapa na pia utaweza kusaidika. Kumbuka siri. Siri ni moja tu kama unataka kujua wewe e, hamu yako ni kujua kifaransa na unajua kiswahili au unajua kiingereza basi umefika umefika kwa sababu bible centered ministries in the world tuna program nzuri tuna vipindi vizuri sana vya kuwasaidia watu kuweza kuelewa tunawafunza neno la Mungu tunawafunza pia maadili tunawafunza pia masomo mbalimbali kama somo la Kichina somo la Kiswahili somo la Kiingereza 
somo la Kifaransa Kenya Rwanda na tunaamini ya kwamba kila mtu ambaye ana hamu ya kujifunza atajifunza na unapojifunza na kusi uwe na roho ya kusaidia ama ya kusupport kuniunga mkono unajua kazi tunafanya hapa tunafanya tukijitoa tu na wewe unaweza kutuunga mkono kwa kufanya jambo moja bonyeza kwenye subscribe button kwenye like na kwenye alama ya kengele Iposa video yoyote inapokuja utakuwa wa kwanza kuiona na uju, ukumbuke kuweka comment. Unapoweka comment basi unatuhimiza sisi kuendelea kufanya mas, ku, uh, kutayarisha masomo mengine na video nyingine nyingi sana za kuweza ku, kuwafunza watu na kukufunza vile vile. So doctor, now uh, when we are learning here we know that you are watching and you are following us we are doing it to help the community the society but you can also do the same to help us by subs by pressing to the subscribe button the like and the bell icon so that whenever new videos come you can be the first person to watch and see them and you can also share to other people now bible centered ministries in the world we are having many things to help you so that you can be able to do business if you are not able to speak french but now you have french lessons here you will be learning and you will be getting what to use when you are learning thank you very much now we are going to do something else uh, as we are going to learn about um, other greetings that we know in french we have other greetings like uh, salut And when you are told the sali, you just say sali. Sali. Nasema pia sali. Ni aina nyingine ya salamu. Lakini ni salamu ambazo hutumika kwa watu ambao wa na umri moja. Ama wamezoeana sana. Unaweza kumsalimu urafiki yako ambaye umezoeana na ye sana. Na pia sali. Ama sava, 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 jibulaki nitakuwa pia sava, ama ui sava, sava, ui sava, so doctor. Sasa, tunaweza kisema eh, kwa mfano, sali mesye, sali. Nous avons besoin de salut messieurs. Ama salut madame. Ama tena salut mademoiselle. Ma demoiselle. On a dit hein, wa Faransa wa Faransa huzingatia sana heshima. Na hapa kuna maneno ambayo hutumika kwa unyesha watu heshima kwa lugha ya kifaransa. Watu wote wenye jinsia, jinsia ya kiume ama e, waume wote. Wafaransa hutumia neno monsieur kwa kuwa heshimu. Unaweza kuonyesha heshima kwa mama ukisema madam kwa msichana unaweza sema ma demoiselle so doctor sasa ukimsalimia mtu unaweza kusema sali monsieur ama sali madam sali mademoiselle na kumbuka ya kwamba hizi salamu sali sava hizo ni salamu za kawaida lakini kuna zile salamu kabisa za kuonyesha heshima zile tulianza nazo hizo bonjour bon après-midi bonsoir hizo ni salamu ambazo ni tofauti na hizi 
sa dakta unaweza pia kusema salut monsieur eh, bonjour monsieur bonjour madame bonjour mademoiselle ukionyesha heshima sadaqta na nataka pia nikupatie kazi ya kufanya ama homework kwa Kiswahili utasema ni kazi eh, ya nyumbani ama kazi ya ziada utafanya hivi nimekufunza maneno matatu ya kuonyesha heshima kuna monsieur nataka urudie tena hilo neno monsieur monsieur kuna pia neno madame kuna neno lingine ni ma demoiselle ma de moi zel haya maneno matatu yanatumikaje haya maneno matatu yanatumikaje nimekwambia haya maneno yanatumika kwa kuonyesha heshima these words are used to show respect to people to men or to male people there is one word to be used here to female people there is two words to use here now which one is which ni neno gani hutumika wapi kuonyesha heshima sasa utaandika haya kama kazi yako ya ziada ama homework utaandika pale tu kwenye comment na nitafurahi sana nikisoma comment zako umeniandikia ukasema kwa mfano madam ni neno ambalo linatumika kuonyesha heshima wasichana kwa mfano ama monsieur ni neno ambalo linatumika kuonyesha heshima tuseme wa mama sijui ni wewe utajua kwa sababu jibu liko katika video ukitaka kujua vizuri basi utarudia video tena na utarudia tena na tena na utaweza kuelewa zaidi na zaidi so doctor now in these days eh, the word mademoiselle is no longer used the way it was before now madam can be used to show respect to both girls and women just like monsieur is used to show respect to boys and men this is today and in french in french of course but in other areas of the world the word mademoiselle is used to show respect to only girls even today if you want to use it to show respect to girl there is no problem because some girls you can call them madam and it is a big problem they will be offended don't offend people call them the way they want okay thank you very much that is the homework that i have given you and you are going to do your best so that you can do that homework now a quick review quick review is bonjour bonjour your answer is oui bonjour ukiambiwa bonjour jibu lako litakuwa oui bonjour bon bon après-midi Blako litakuwa bon après midi. Bon après midi also. Bon après midi. Uh, bonsoir. Your answer will be oui, bonsoir. Oui, bonsoir. Bonsoir, oui bonsoir. Bonjour, oui bonjour. Bon après-midi, bon après-midi. Na pia kuna salamu zingine hapa. Salut. Jibu ni salut. 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 Ça va? Oui ça va. Ah, 
kwa ajili ya kwa kifupi haya ndio tumejifunza na tukapeana mfano sasa ukitaka kujua tena mifano ama ku, kuelewa zaidi mifano yenyewe utaweza kurudia video na utaweza kusikia na kuelewa vizuri swadaka so, sasa kama umeweza kuelewa haya kuna vile tunaweza kujifunza uh, kitu kingine ama kipindi kingine chapter nyingine ama section nyingine tutajifunza sasa uh, uh, etiquette e t k t etiquette ni kimombo lakini kwa Kiswahili itakuwa nini adabu a dabu adabu ama maadili sasa mtu akikufanyia kitu kizuri kuna vile unaweza kumshukuru mtu akikufanyia kitu kizuri utasema merci ukitaka kusisitiza sana utasema merci beaucoup Hiki ni Kifaransa. Nataka pia urudie hili neno merci beaucoup. Rudia merci beaucoup. Rudia tena merci beaucoup. Sio daktar. Sasa merci beaucoup maana yake asante sana. Asante sana. Kwa Kiingereza ni thank you. very much so doctor merci beaucoup maana yake thank you very much merci beaucoup thank you very much hilo ni neno la kwanza la kuonesha adabu unaweza kusema merci beaucoup ukitendea kitu kizuri utasema merci beaucoup whenever you are given something you are supposed to appreciate by saying merci beaucoup in french repeat the word merci beaucoup merci beaucoup merci beaucoup neno lingine ni s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît ni please please kwa lugha ya kiingereza unapoambia mtu please na unataka kutumia kifaransa sema s'il vous plaît repeat s'il vous plaît unaweza sema s'il te plaît s'il te plaît unaweza sema hivyo s'il te plaît lakini hili halina heshima halioneshi heshima halijaonyesha heshima ukitaka kuonyesha heshima sema s'il vous plaît unaweza pia kutumia s'il te plaît kwa mtu wa umri wako uh, your age mate your friend your colleague you can say s'il te plaît to mean please but you are supposed to say s'il vous plaît kuna neno lingine ni désolé 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 maana yake maana yake nini kwa kiingereza désolé means sorry na sorry ni nini kwa 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 kifaransa kwa kiswahili ni tafadhali 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 ni désolé ni sorry kweli ni samahani si tafadhali lakini s'il vous plaît kwa Kiswahili maana yake tafadhali please means tafadhali s'il vous plaît maana yake tafadhali lakini sorry means samahani 
samahani désolé samahani kuna lingine ni pardon 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 kwa Kiswahili ni niwe radhi niwe radhi niwe radhi na kuomba kunisamehe pardon na kwa Kiingereza tutasema pardon 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 swadaka sana na haya maneno tumejifunza utayatumia kila siku utayatumia unapokuwa nyumbani unapotembea mtahani basi haya maneno utayatumia na yatakusaidia sana kwa sababu yana maana ya ajabu sana these words of etiquette are very important you can use them wherever you are and people will appreciate they will know that you know etiquette or you want to use courtesy and, and etiquette in your language polite language now you can repeat merci beaucoup s'il vous plaît désolé pardon merci s'il vous plaît désolé pardon merci s'il vous plaît désolé pardon merci s'il vous plaît désolé pardon those are words that you can use for etiquette now in a sentence in a sentence you can also make sentences by using these words unaweza kutumia sentence ukitumia haya maneno ambayo tumemaliza kujifunza kuhusu adabu unaweza kusema kwa mfano um, merci beaucoup merci beaucoup mon père mon père kumbuka neno père na papa tulijifunza hili neno tulijifunza haya maneno mawili papa maana yake ni ba ba sadaka na père maana yake pia ni ba ba ama mzazi wangu wa kiume père père papa sasa unaweza kusema hivi merci beaucoup mon père sasa hapa kuna neno mo mo maana yake my ama yangu angu hiki ni kimilikishi kinaonyesha ya kwamba huyu ni wako baba yako ama mama yako sasa unaweza sema désolé désolé ma mère ama désolé mama kama umemkosea mtu umemkosea mama yako umemkosea baba yako unaweza kutumia maneno kama haya kuonyesha heshima désolé ma mère désolé mon père désolé mon frère désolé ma sœur so dr sana na acha tuendelee tunaendelea tuki tumia mifano mbalimbali na hiyo mifano tunaweza kutumia ili tupate kukamilisha somo letu kwa sababu tunakaribia uh, ukomo ama tunafikia uh, muda wa kumaliza somo tumeanza mapema tumejifunza na sijui tumefikia uh, dakika ngapi tukijifunza hili somo lakini haya yatatusaidia wewe utakuwa unarudia rudia tena na tena rudia tena na tena rudia tena na tena na hili somo litakufaa sana so doctor na sasa labda ungependa kujifunza uh, lugha ya kifaransa na mimi ama ungependa kuwasiliana na mimi moja kwa moja acha nikupatia anwani yangu kwa sababu kuna wale wengine waliniambia sasa mwalimu hujatupatia anwani yako hujatupatia sijui um, namba yako ya simu tunaweza kuwasilianaje leo nimeamua niwapatie namba yangu ya simu na anwani yangu ama barua pepe andikia uh, kuna email email yangu ni professor professor kin professor kins professor kins 
at gmail dot com hii ni email yangu ukitaka kuniandikia ukitaka kuongea na mimi inbox na kama si comment unataka kuongea na mimi kabisa labda unataka kujifunza na mimi unataka kuniambia maneno fulani unataka ku support kihali fulani kwa hii channel kwa sababu unajua hii channel tunafanya kwa ajili ya kuwasaidia watu duniani na labda wewe hauzingati hata hauoni kama kuna haja ya kuwasaidia watu lakini nataka nikujuze hivi unaishi kwa sababu una kile unachokifanya duniani wewe ni chombo una kazi una jukumu duniani na ndio maana Mungu anakupatia pumzi ya uhai unapumua kwa sababu wewe una kitu unakifanya duniani sasa mimi nafanya hii kazi kwa kuwasaidia watu na sitarajii ati hawa watu ninawawasaidia watanisaidia ama watanipatia kitu fulani hapana na wafunza tu wajue wakijua basi huo ni mchango wangu kwa dunia kama hauna mchango duniani basi Mungu ataona hauna haja ya kuishi duniani na kufunza hili kama pasta kama mwalimu kama mhubiri wa injili na kufunza hili kwa sababu nimeelewa kutokea neno la Mungu kama hauna kitu unafanya duniani basi hauna haja ya kuishi duniani sasa ikiwa unataka kusaidia ama kuambatana na mimi kuwasaidia watu unataka kuongea na mimi ndio maybe umeona kuna kitu fulani ungetaka kuniambia kuchangia na mimi ndio channel iendelee zaidi basi nitafurahi na ukiniandikia hapa hiyo itakuwa maongezi yetu binafsi na kuna namba ya simu ni hii alama ya kujumlisha Hii ndiyo namba yangu ya simu. Unaweza pia kutumia WhatsApp ukitaka kuwasiliana na mimi WhatsApp. Kuna watu wengine wanataka niwafunze kichina. Uh, tukiongea tukiongea pamoja. Kuna program tunatumia ni Zoom na Google Meet. Tunaweza kutumia hizo program kuwafunza kichina na lugha zingine mbalimbali kama unataka. Sema ukiwa unataka hiyo basi tutaongea na wewe hapa na nitakujuza utafanya nini ndio upate kujifunza pamoja na mimi kichina na lugha nyingine mbalimbali na ikiwa kuna kitu fulani ungetaka kuniambia unaweza pia kupiga simu hapa na tutaweza kuwasiliana na mambo yatakwenda sambamba na kukaribisha tena kwenye channel hii msaada mwingine unaweza kunipatia hapa or another help another assistance that you can give here to support this channel you can click to the subscribe button you can click to the the, the bell icon or you can also share and make, put your comment down there but make sure that the homework that i have given you you are going to do them and write the answers to the the what the box there of the comments I will be I, I will appreciate you and I will appreciate your support. And here I say that we have other things that we do to support people. We are like we are we are praying that we can get a way of supporting some children who are not able to get school fees. We don't support many but the way God have given us uh, power and opportunity we can do it we can pay for some people who are not able to get school fees we can pay for them maybe also you want to join us and do the same and uh, support people maybe i don't know in which country you are you can feel free and talk to us because what we do is to support or to help to serve people in different ways now here we are teaching french we are teaching chinese we are teaching other things so that people can know 
You know, the Bible says eh, that my people perish because of lack of what? Lack of knowledge. That's what the Bible says. Now, because we don't want people of God to perish, some of people, some of you are having passion of doing business, but because you are having language barrier, you are so much limited because of knowing other languages. That's why we have organized for you. We have put this lesson here. You can learn French, you can learn Chinese, you can learn Swahili. And that is good. And uh, good news to people who are living in Rwanda, or who are living in Kenya, in East Africa and Central Africa. I've already told you that French, English, Swahili are the three languages which can be used to do business. And now we have uh, freedom. You can go there in Rwanda, you invest there, you do your things there. And you can also come from Rwanda, you come here in Kenya, you do your business and you use the languages because already you have skills. Skills, you are able to, to, to communicate to people. You know already English, Swahili and French. And that's very good. That is our passion and we... We think that you are not going also to take it for granted. You are also going to use the opportunity. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope that uh, our lesson have helped you. Now, I want you to put your comments down there. What do you think we can do so that we can progress? you will also write as what as comments but i want to do a short review as we are finishing or winding up i want to do the short review let me hope you are still with me I have told you about greetings. This is Salam. I have also taught you how to respond to greetings. Ama vile unaweza kujibu. Salam. I have also taught you about uh, etiquette. And all these are very important for you. And also I gave you what to do, which I called the homework. You are going to do that in the comment and uh, there is a way we can do something like a dialogue i don't know whether we have uh, we, we are tired now but i think you cannot be tired when we are learning you can keep watching and keep learning so that you can know many things now how do you say how do you say that uh, You are fine in French. Because if somebody says, good morning. Yes, good morning. How do you say, how are you in French? How do you say, how are you in French? How are you? How are you? How are you in French? We can say, Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? It means how are you? Comment ça va? Kwa kiswahili, comment ça va maana yake habari? 
gani habari gani ama u hali gani u hali gani comment ça va nataka urudie neno lenyewe comment ça va comment ça va comment ça va comment ça va kwa mfano unaweza kumuuliza mtu ambaye unamjua mimi kuna mtu namjua jina lake ni blessed unaweza kumuuliza comment ça va blessed jibu lake litakuwa ça va ça va bien comment ça va jibu litakuwa ça va bien merci comment ça va ça va bien merci Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Habari gani? Nzuri. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Habari gani? Nzuri. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Na kuna aina nyingine ya neno ambalo unaweza ya neno ambalo unaweza kutumia. Naambia unaweza kwa unawe, mtu anaweza kukwambia comment ça va? Na wewe unajibu aje? Unasema ça va bien. Merci. Et vous? Et vous? Et vous ni neno lingine unaweza kusema. Et vous? Et vous? Maana yake na wewe je wewe? Je. Wewe. Je wewe. Et vous? Maana yake je wewe and you hii maana yake ni and you and you et vous so doctor comment ça va ça va bien merci et vous je vais bien na mtu akikuuliza comment ça va anataka kujua hali yako ni gani when somebody is asking you comment ça va he just asking you how are you how are you i am fine thank you comment ça va ça va bien merci how are you i'm fine thank you hebu nataka na wewe ujibu nikikuuliza comment ça va utasemaje utasema ça va bien merci comment ça va Nizamu yako kusema kujibu Ça va bien merci Comment ça va Comment ça va Ça va bien merci Na kuna neno lingine kuweza kumwaga mtu kwa Kifaransa Kumwaga mtu kwa Kifaransa unaweza kusema au revoir When you want to uh, to say goodbye to somebody you can say au revoir au revoir au revoir au revoir kwa mfano au revoir utasemaje au revoir tandika o re voir au revoir maana yake kwa herini kwa herini ama goodbye good bye kwa kifaransa tutasemaje goodbye 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 tunaweza kusema hivyo kwa lugha gani kwa lugha ya Kifaransa nadhani sasa ni muda mzuri sana wa kuweza kuchunguza tena yale ambayo tumejifunza tumejifunza maneno mengi na baadhi ya hayo maneno kuna neno hili ambalo tumemaliza kuliongea namna ya kusema au ama 
how to say goodbye to somebody in French. How do we say goodbye to somebody in French? You are the one to answer. You will say au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Nitakapomaliza, nitakwambia au revoir. Na wewe utasemaje? Utasema au revoir. Unanielewa? Au revoir. Au revoir. Kumbuka tulisema comment ça va? Ça va bien. Hiyo ni kuuliza mtu habari yako nzuri. Habari yako nzuri. Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Merci. Unanielewa? Sasa nizamu yako kurudia. Comment ça va? Tamka comment ça va? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Je vous la connais. Ça va bien. Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Merci. Kuna chani ninyo maji kidogo. Sa dakta. Na nadhani tunafikia uh, ukomo wa somo letu ikiwa una swali utaweza kuuliza swali lako nimekuonyesha vile utaweza kuuliza swali I think we are approaching the end of our lesson if you have a question you can write or you can communicate to me directly as I told you I will be happy and I appreciate I will appreciate your support because whenever you show any reaction to this channel it is showing me that you are alert you are watching you are following what we are doing and you are eager to learn i have taught you the greetings in french i taught you how to say good morning good morning i said it is bonjour i also said that Good afternoon means bon après-midi. And again I said good evening means bonsoir. Then I said that there are other greetings like salut like uh, ça va. Those are greetings that you can use to do what? To greet somebody or to to do what? Uh, to greet somebody. Yes. Now, for today I thank you very much for watching and for following my lesson but I recommend you to keep doing what keep viewing 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 the lesson so that you can understand and if you have not yet joined the family I am requesting you that you can join by subscribing clicking to the subscribe button it is a big support to us and also share the video to your friend another thing that you can do is to click the notification icon which is there as a bell you will be seeing all videos that we upload remember we will upload different videos on this channel expect videos about lessons about preachings about also what gospel songs about uh, advertisement or you can also advertise using this. If you want to advertise your business, you can also call us. We shall say what you do because you are our member. So we need to say what you do. And once we say what you do, then we are also promoting you, helping you. And we can do that one for free. If you want us to do it, then just talk to us, right? Or call us. We shall do that for you before we start or put any video here. We can start by saying what you do and we say where you are located and that's what uh, that's part of what we do for today i thank you very much au revoir goodbye say jane